I'm starting with the man in the mirror, and I'm asking him to describe the footage from Michael. <laughs> Come on. Hey guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the managing editor at Cinema Blend. And as you can tell behind me, I am in Las Vegas for CinemaCon 2024, where all of the studios bring their presentations of upcoming films. And at Lionsgate, we learned about a huge musical biopic that's coming based on the life of Michael Jackson. It looks like it's going to follow the formula of most biopics, and it comes from us from producer Graham King, who had previously worked on Bohemian Rhapsody. Of course, when you touch on Michael Jackson, one of the things I found really interesting is that Graham King admits that there's an incredible amount of material for him to discuss as part of the singer-songwriter's life. And from the footage that we got to see uh, in Caesars as part of Michael, we do go all the way back to Michael Jackson's uh, roots as a young kid, and then him uh, actually going out on tour to to star uh, his musical career with the Jackson 5. So we're gonna be covering, like I said, an incredible amount of material in the life of arguably one of the most famous musicians on the planet. A lot of the footage that we saw focused on the time frame of Michael Jackson's life where he's gonna be played by Jafar Jackson. And it's Michael Jackson at the time of his greatest hits. Man in the Mirror, uh, Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel. There's, again, so many hits that you need to touch on and it seems like the footage that we saw is gonna go through a montage of it. My biggest concern is how much of uh, the time of the film are you going to spend in each of these time periods? You could arguably do a Michael Jackson film that touches only on the 70s, only on the 80s, only on the 90s. And what Graham King said from the stage that I really wanna see uh, what Michael does is he admitted the fact that there is a lot of controversy for Michael Jackson's life off stage. So while you wanna celebrate everything that he might have done as an artist uh, on stage, how much of the film is gonna get into some of the truly bizarre stories that we heard about Michael Jackson off stage? Uh, and he claimed the fact that the movie is going to get into a lot of it and kind of emphasized that this is going to have to be a long movie in order to pull that off. There was at least some part of the footage that was included that makes me believe they are gonna get into some of the darker sides of Michael Jackson. We saw brief shots of him taking pills and there's at least one sequence that shows him being rushed off to the hospital uh, on a gurney and we do know that there are you know different instances of Michael Jackson having to go to the hospital over the course of his career so I do want to find out you know what they're going to dwell on what they're going to dig into and which parts of that uh, aspect of his career are going to get focused on. The footage that we saw was really only from half of the shoot because director Antoine Fuqua, who you know from Training Day and plenty of other films that he's done with Denzel Washington, is only halfway through the shoot. Michael's gonna come out in 2025. It's gonna be a big emphasis for Lionsgate going into next year. I think it's tantalizing to talk about doing a musical biopic about Michael Jackson. There's plenty of stuff for you to get to. The footage, again, to sort of emphasize, looked like it's following a bit of a boilerplate that comes with doing uh, any kind of musical artist for a musical biopic. But when it's Michael Jackson, it's going to have to be something different. The the footage had a ton of energy and, and really captured what made Michael Jackson unique and special when he was performing live. And Jafar Jackson looks like he is nailing all of the physical aspects that come with performing as Michael Jackson. The dance, the very strict choreography that comes with being part of Michael Jackson's routine, all of that is there. I'm just really curious about how much that when you get Coleman Domingo and you get Nia Long, are you going to let them explore some of the more complicated aspects of the Jackson family and of Michael Jackson's life in particular? Based on what I saw, I really do hope that they go into that, that route, but this should be a warts and all biopic if it's going to maybe could potentially contend for awards the way that a lot of actors who go out for musical biopics do end up being a part of that conversation. Lionsgate ended their panel with Michael, so it means it's going to be a very important film for them. Uh, it even came after Ballerina which is going to be a big film for them in 2025. So we've got Michael circled on our calendar. Being a huge Michael Jackson fan myself, I'm really curious to see how he's portrayed uh, and whether audience is going to respond to it. So be on the lookout for that Michael footage if and when it makes its way online. We are going to be reporting live from CinemaCon all week. So keep it right here on CinemaBlend for the latest movie news.